Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is Awakened or True or We Are True. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe before we get into the video. My sister and I are about to get ready for a photo shoot. My name is Tyra. I'm going to show you how I created this really natural and refreshing makeup look. Thank you for joining me and spending some time with me. If you're wanting to know how I achieved this look, make sure you stay tuned. Let's get started. Hello, my true lovers and friends. I'm excited to connect with you guys in this way. This is where we're starting. I don't have much on my face but a moisturizer. I'm going to start by rolling. This shade roller is cold. Feels so nice. My goal is to enhance what's already there and bring more attention to it. Next, I'm going to be using this Pacifica Brow Gel to keep my eyebrows in place. There's like a cat outside my window meowing so loud. Hello, friend. How are you? Brushing the hairs upward. Any container that I can pour into, I'm always adding different herbs and oils, whatever I feel I need. So I definitely did that with this because the product itself was so thick that it almost stuck into the bottle. So I added some of my hair growth mixture to the product. So I don't necessarily want my eyebrows to get bigger, just the hairs to be healthy and more full. With that, I just brushed the hairs up and then traced along the top as you would if you were shaping your brow. Now I'm taking a brown shade and I'm going to fill my eyebrows just a tiny bit. So I'll show you how I would do that. Using this brown here, i do a tiny bit of brown to some at the top here just areas where I feel it can use a more shading, lightly tapping. Doing this while the brow gel is still wet helps to smooth the product for the next step. I'm not filling in the entire brow and it's okay if these inner corners are a little harsh. Take this brow brush and go over that blend. Make sure that the shadow didn't blend outward too far. The brows are done. Take a tiny bit of my foundation and apply it to some select areas. I have this much on my beauty blender. I'm just going to dab underneath the eyes, my cheeks, underneath the cheek. I'm going to go ahead and spread this out small amounts of foundation can go a really long way. Brighten things up with my concealer. I always like to like pinch the concealer at my, the tip of my nose. I'm going to take this bronzer that I've had five ever but I love it so much. It's literally just a L'Oreal bronzer. This brush that's cut at the top, bronze this area, and then cut across. And deepen this crease between my cheekbone and my jaw. And down, up this way too. Do that on the other side as well. And my chin. I like to dab a little bit on my forehead underneath the lip. With a little bit of a smaller empty brush, I'm going to draw my contour lines for my nose. And right now I'm loving just doing the sides here and here. Just an arrow point downward. And then just smoothing that out. Take this same bronzer and do my crease. 
It's quite a bit of bronzer, but I love looking golden. This, my Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora Highlight Palette is probably super old. I rarely ever buy makeup, but I absolutely love it. So with the same brush that I did the bronzer, I just kind of sweep any residue off on my leg and I'm going to use Lara, which is this golden. A tiny bit on my bridge, nose, bridge. To do a little bit of that same highlight up in the corners of my eyes. A tiny bit on my lids and just use your finger. I use the Luna, which is like basically white. And I'm gonna do that in the corners. I might even go ahead and do it on the other end because I'm feeling like that. Run that out as well. We're losing a little bit of sun. I'm mixing this blush with the Eclipse. I'm just like lightly tapping it in there. And so I'm going to brush that on my cheekbone, carry the rest over top of my nose. I like to be rosy. You can carry the blush as high as you would like. I'm gonna go ahead and set what I have this far. Now I am going to use this Black Heart from the Naked 3 Urban Decay. Yes, my makeup is ancient, guys. It's ancient. And I'm going to just lightly tap my brush into that and create my own little liner. Brush right off the side. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the other side. You could definitely stop there, but I think I wanna go for something a little bit more dramatic. So I'm gonna do some lines in the corners as well, the inner corner. It's very subtle, but it still makes a significant difference. The next thing I'm going to do is some mascara. Mine has a primer side and a regular side. This is the Honest brand. I am going to go ahead and attempt some lip stain. I tend to not like anything on my lips, but I'm just gonna give it a try. So I'm trying this NYX Butter Gloss. I'm only gonna put a very tiny bit. Go ahead and dab just a little bit of it off. A bit more of like a lip stain look than a lipstick. And over top of this, I'm just going to add a little lip balm. If you guys aren't feeling the dewy look, you can always add some translucent powder under the eyes and do a little bake. This is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe if you guys would like to see more of our content. Check out our last two videos, they are awesome. And I hope you guys have a great day, night, evening. Thank you again for spending time with me. I really appreciate it. Bye guys.